Hey there, my lovely Cancers. Getting ready to start your reading. This will be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. As always, please just take what resonates and leave the rest. <clears throat> All right, Cancer, let's see what Spirit has for you guys. If you need more specific information, definitely check your other placements. I have... Oh, a spirit card coming out first. Angels of four directions. How beautiful. I mean, you may be very spiritual, but what I'm getting from that card is that you're getting a lot of spiritual help at this time. Well, that card was definitely trying to clip, but that did not happen. Let's try that again. Definitely get some help. Maybe some of you guys have been asking for help, praying for help. Regardless, I feel like you have spirit around you quite a bit now. Somebody could also be healing with that card here. But honestly, this is angels in the four directions. This is more than just one angel helping you. You guys are getting a lot of help at this moment is what I'm getting. Yeah. Look at this. Really tuning in. I feel like to your man or into your intuition here. You guys might be... In, listening to what you're getting here I already said you're getting spiritual help this is also a spiritual card as well just saying that you are really focused in on manifesting what you want perhaps in a particular situation or maybe just in life in general um maybe you're also tuning in a lot intuitively is what i'm getting so that you're kind of getting into the flow of things that definitely makes manifestation a lot easier for us i saw courage on the bottom here Maybe that's for some of you guys. Maybe you're exercising a lot of courage to even take some chances, go out in a different way, um, or go in a different direction. Hmm, okay. What else, Spirit? Anything else for my cancers? Yes. The well, Goodness, Cancer, look at <laughs> These are all Spirit cards. What? The Healing Light. All right, so you have angels of the four directions, intuition, manifestation, the healing light. This is crazy. Some of you guys are just, what are you turning into here? Like you're really evolving a lot. You're getting a lot of help, it looks like here. here. You may be really working on delving in and healing. Um, it could be a situation. It could be a lot of your own shadow energy, a lot of your own wounds that you're doing. You may also be a healer, okay? Some of you guys are really getting tapped into uh, the divine here is what I'm getting. I mean, that's beautiful. I don't even know that I've ever seen that card, actually. Yeah, the loving woman. <laughs> so, look, and there's courage again on the bottom here. I'm going to pull this out because this has come up twice. I'm going to tell you why. Because in this courage card, you can see the tin man, right? Straight out of the Wizard of Oz, right? So... Um, this is really interesting here because I believe that somebody is trying to access a lot of their courage to go towards this loving woman or perhaps vice versa in this situation. Maybe the loving woman is trying to, um, yeah, maybe they're trying to access all of their courage, pull it together so that they can go to that loving man. But that's not what I'm getting, actually. I'm getting it a little bit different. But please feel free to flip up the energies as you feel that they need to be. The bottom line is somebody has been through a huge transition here. Um, and it appears to me that, yeah, some of you are, are hands down healers. Some of you are mystics. Some of you are healers. Some of you may work in, in the healing arts in some way too. So that could even be like as a nurse, as a doctor or something along those lines there. But boy, are you getting a lot of help here. Definitely a huge upgrade going on. Uh, with you and what I mean by that it's really just it's really just kind of taming the shadow right um, getting rid of a, or working through a lot of that shadow energy a lot of those wounds things of that nature so that you can really rise up into who you are some of you are becoming very powerful this is incredible but I feel like this energy over here is definitely around a relationship this may be a very significant relationship with the woman that's clearly I'm sorry, I have to laugh there. The woman has really evolved here. Look how fantastic she is. Okay, just beautiful, bountiful, has everything really that she really needs. Loving nature. You may love flowers. You may love to be out in nature for sure. Uh, spending a lot of time in nature just really healing. You know, healing yourself, healing your energy, healing your heart is what I'm feeling. You may also have a, a dog here. Um... But perhaps somebody has not been so quick to come towards you, okay? Maybe they have really lacked the courage in a sense. Perhaps there is someone out here that's trying to 
muster up the courage, I want to say, to be able to come towards you. It may be a person that's been quite cold in the past or maybe could have appeared cold. Um, maybe even the way that you guys ended things or um, I don't know if you have ended things actually. I guess I shouldn't make that assumption. Um, yeah, just the way that they really kind of uh, displayed their behavior, I want to say in the past, very kind of icy on the surface here, just f fully covered in armor and guarded, okay? Uh, but I think this person really does want to get the courage up, and maybe that's really what they've been focusing on so that they can approach you again. So this may, if this is not the first time, uh, maybe you've really had a massive glow up here and you're attracting someone new in that's getting this courage or this could very well be someone from the past yet. We're going to let the cards kind of identify that for us. Hmm. Okay, spirit. So what do you have here for the Cancer Collective, Summoning Rising, and Venus sign? I honestly, I am really enamored with the cards here. This is absolutely beautiful. Whoever is going through this, Regardless of what stage you're in, I mean, you have to know that you have all kinds of help behind you here. And my goodness, I mean, the end result is absolutely beautiful. Just amazing. Look, <laughs> the Empress. Wow. Okay. Yeah, somebody's really stepped into their power here. You know, when I see the loving woman, I also think about the Empress, okay? Or the Empress. It definitely looks to me like somebody has really stepped into their power here. Somebody is really looking for a brand new beginning. Uh, in something. Someone could very well be seeing you as their empress. I just honestly, I'm just going to call it the way I see it here. Obviously, that could be the case, but I also feel that you have really assessed your empress energy here, okay? So, I think you really, you understand who you are much better. You understand what your worth is much better, what you're willing to deal with, what you're not willing to deal with. The past could have brought you some sense of conflict, okay? Um, conflict with another person, perhaps conflict with the people around you. I have a very strong pull, though, to this guy over here, this tin man right in the courage card. So I think there may have been some conflict in a specific situation here. You may be heavily focused, too, on your work and doing something that you love. You could also be building something that you love, building a business. Yeah. When I see the Eight of Pentacles, I see somebody that's very studious because they're passionate about something that they're doing here. Now, this happens to fall in, up underneath the cards of intuition and manifestation. So, I do feel like you are trying to build something uh, that you love. Maybe you're trying, if you do have a healing practice or something along those lines, I guess you could be trying to turn that into... Or something mystical. I don't know why I keep feeling something mystical. Okay, maybe you're trying to turn that into some kind of business. It could be an online business, something along those lines. Um, or it could be that you're actually healing, getting a lot of help healing a particular situation here, a situation that had a lot of conflict. Okay, but I do feel like you're throwing yourself to, why do I feel like you're throwing yourself into your work? Maybe you're just trying to, maybe you want to work together with some person here that's left you out in the cold. Let me get some more information and just see what's going on here. Yeah, somebody definitely feels like they've been left out in the cold here. They feel like they don't know what's going on, but it could have very well been someone here. Yeah, somebody has a block heart here. I think somebody was definitely not showing a lot of emotions here. With the Four of Pentacles, look at this. This came out upside down, the shadow self. We just talked about that. That's what all this healing has been about. Whatever this was, I think it brought up a lot of shadow energy, a lot of insecurities. Yeah, that had to really be cleaned out. A lot of wounds were really penetrated, I think, in this particular situation that really had to be acknowledged, I think, and worked through. Uh, transmuted, even, is what I want to say, okay? Uh, Whoever, uh, honestly, I don't know who this person is in this Empress energy, but my goodness. And you know, I want to say that this, especially with all this angelic presence here, this is actually, this may be healing a situation, a particular situation. But somebody who has been, really been through it, I mean, really been through it, okay, um, that was really holding back, I feel, here on their emotions due to a blocked heart chakra, and they may still be. Maybe that's why a lot of this healing light is coming in as well, just to kind of clean that up, help this person to really open up their heart chakra. I don't think it's who this loving woman is, certainly not this empress, because empress is about receiving, okay? You can't receive if you have a blocked heart chakra. 
So this may actually be somebody that you are dealing with, unless this is you and the other person is the loving woman here. Look at this. Wow. Okay. Who did I get? I got the High Priestess and Empress. Using a totally different deck, of course. But in, uh, I think it might have been in Pisces reading. Look at this. Yeah. I think somebody sees you as the loving woman. There's definitely a loving woman being seen here, seen as the empress, the mother, somebody who is very abundant, certainly very uh, fruitful, I want to say uh, thoughtful, compassionate person. Again, somebody that's very earthy is what I'm getting, but obviously very, you know, I'm getting the high priestess and the ace of pentacles here, so I think somebody who's incredibly intuitive as well. So really spiritual, again, another very spiritual card. This is a person that gets very, or gives very wise, sound advice, I want to say to others, is always willing to listen, but is really tuned in, um, yeah, really tuned in intuitively into what source is given them here. Somebody here may be wanting to have a brand new start here, I have an Ace of Pentacles, start towards something that is more, it would definitely be... It would have to be more stable than what you guys had the last time. There's been some, I don't know if there's been some fights or some conflict over this, whatever it is. I feel like it really did make somebody feel like they were out in the cold here. Yeah, look at this. Some, okay, so the tin man up here is trying to come forward with some kind of apology here, okay? They want to come, I, I just feel like they want to come through with some kind of show of love. It's almost like whoever has been through this and the shadow work, now they have these new emotions that are really emerging here with the Page of Cups. Because this shows me new, kind of like puppy love. This is like a newness, like your first love. You may be this person's first love, honestly, or vice versa. Maybe it just feels like that, okay? Um, yeah, whoever has been through this shadow, this looks like it's been turned around now. And this person, it looks like they can actually see clearer than they could in the past. Definitely recognizing you here uh, as someone who brings them a lot of happiness, a lot of emotional fulfillment here. So who is this? Tell me who this is that's coming towards my collective spirit. Hmm. Yeah, somebody wants to build with you. <laughs> I don't know who left who out in the cold here, but this world card in reverse definitely tells me somebody is not trying to end a cycle over here. So if you try to close up on somebody, I don't think they want to close that cycle with you at all. Unfortunately, this person may be dealing with a little distorted energy here. I do have the King of Wands in reverse. Okay, the King of Wands in reverse shows me some, a masculine that's definitely not standing in their power. In fact, it could be a masculine that's actually abusing their power a little bit. All right. Um, they may be using, first of all, they may be very lustful. I'm just going to say that I don't know that yet. I'm going to get more clarification, of course. But when I see a King of Wands, King of Wands upright is very passionate. Um, when it's turned upside down, this is someone who will usually, they could be a, a bit of a player. Or they could use that passion to kind of gain you know, the things that they need, I want to say in life, or the things that they want. They could definitely be in some shadow energy, or maybe this is what they're actually coming out of here, because we do have this one in reverse. Yeah. Honestly, but I'm not, I'm struck by the fact as well that this could also have been, you could have also been flipped upside down in some shadow energy too, but for some reason I feel like you might be ahead a little bit here. So this person may just now be going through it regardless. Even if this is a little bit in the past, we're gonna. I, I generally see a natural progression as we go. This person was definitely in a distorted masculine energy. Is what I'm feeling. It could have very well been a Leo here. We certainly have all the fixed signs. We have a Libra, a Taurus. Uh, what else do I have here? I have some Pisces energy as well. Yeah, I have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I have Virgo. Um, yeah, I have Virgo as well. Yeah. All right, so whoever this was right here, obviously, and it doesn't have to be a fire sign, but if it was a fire sign that you're dealing with, we do have a, it, that would, I mean, this right here says Leo. It could have been any of them, though. What I'm feeling with this is that this person was probably not very honest with you. There may have been some emotional manipulation that was actually going on here. Uh, this person could have been, honestly, just straight up, they could have been a liar. They could have lied to you. They could have tried to manipulate you in some way. They could have tried to abuse 
there could there could have been a lot of sexual motivation I want to say so maybe you guys had a very passionate relationship I just don't I, I just really feel like you couldn't trust them honestly but boy are they paying for it look at this this person is all in their head all in their head let me see what else he's coming towards this is a person that may have been losing sleep, even having nightmares, uh, constantly ruminating, I feel, over this situation. Look at these cards. My goodness. Feeling like they haven't healed. Feeling like they're not going to be able to heal from this situation. I feel like some of them are feeling like maybe they're running out of time, too. Maybe this person has wasted a lot of time here. Yeah, look at this. You got well, all these reversals coming out of this person. They still got to be in their shadow energy, so you must have came out of that shadow energy. Maybe they're trying to get their footing too if they've been sitting in it for a while. I did say they're trying to find the courage here, right? Uh, with the tin man, all right? They're very guarded though, that's the issue. This person heavily guards their heart, they guard their, they guard their emotions. They do feel like you've kind of left them out in some way, so I'm not sure what the issue was here. Maybe you felt like you had to leave them out, I don't really know. But look, and then we have the king of swords here as well. I honestly would look at the, the Tin Man as the King of Swords normally. So it could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. You could actually have another person, because I'm asking who's coming towards you. You could actually have a brand new person entering the picture. But for some reason, I feel like it's this person. And oh my gosh, I just saw this. Look how this King of Swords is covered in armor, just like this man up here, okay? So maybe this person had, I don't feel like they've done a lot of healing though. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, they're really stressed out about something. I don't know what's stressing them out. Uh, certainly the inability, I feel like, to really heal this situation. Something may have actually kept them stuck too. I'm not getting that from the card. I just feel that way. Maybe this person feels stuck in this way like they've been. Um, I, I don't know why I want to use the term incapable of healing. Something is kind of holding them down in a bit. I don't really know what that means, honestly. What could be, I mean, I'm going to ask that question. What could be holding this person down? Um, could it be another situation? Could it be a work situation? Do they feel restricted in some way? Do they have a, a home situation somewhere else? I think they see that you're moving off, okay? Either you're moving away or maybe you've already moved away to kind of calmer waters and, and they just don't know how to, they want that as well, and they haven't been able or successful in doing that, okay? This person may, be, honestly, even if you saw them right now, they may very well still seem like, you know, they can seem a little bit ice cold, right? Like they're still quite guarded. The King of Swords is a good card, though, generally, because this is someone who likes to speak the truth, okay? So if they weren't being truthful in the past, maybe they know now that they have to come in and really be truthful. Now, this could also be somebody else, just so we're clear here. All right, this could have been the past. This could definitely be somebody that's coming in that's going to bring you a totally different vibe. Let me get some clarification. Who is the King of Swords here, Spirit? Oh, my Cancer. Who's the King of Swords here? It's maybe just somebody who, I mean, especially if you went through all this with another person here. Looks like they may still be going through some stuff. Perhaps this King of Swords is somebody brand new that's coming to you. No, I think that's the same person. Let's see. Who's this King of Swords here? Clarify, please. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I've got another one falling out here. Upside down. You got a King of Cups now. This one's actually in reverse. All right, you got a lot of going on here, Cancer. <laughs> This King of Swords is somebody who's probably quite independent. They've probably been single for a while. Um, but it's definitely somebody who's looking for some answers here. You know, I talked about digging around in the shadow energy. You have the shadow side that's really flipped upside down here, which is equivalent also, by the way, to... Um, oh, that's actually Capricorn, right? Yeah. So... I think this person, whoever this is, has been looking for, you know, they're trying to find the light, okay? They feel very murky. They feel like they have not healed. They feel like they're still sitting in troubled waters. Things have not really went their way. They see how you've really 
Oh my gosh, you are just literally lit up over here. Why do I feel like they feel like you're being blessed in some way? Maybe you are being blessed in some way. I'm not sure how they would know about that, but they've seen that and they feel like they've kind of stayed in the same energy. I do feel like this person was making a lot of bad decisions before and it just kind of drugged them down. This person can sometimes play the victim as well as what I'm feeling. And that was something they were actually doing back here. They may have been doing that with you. They may have been projecting problems or even blame on you as well. But they are trying to find their way here. They're trying to find their way to the light. I think it's been a really, it's been a long, dark road for this person is what I'm getting. Regardless of how long it's been since you guys have been apart, uh, they are definitely looking for some answers now. And you may actually be providing some guiding light for this person, honestly. If you guys have any kind of uh, sacred connection, you know, deeper connection, something like that, certainly you could probably feel one another's energy. So they would naturally be trying to follow suit. Um, I think they were really happy being independent and just single for a long time. Unless this is something new, unless this is something where they've been through a lot trying to get out of it now that they are finally out of all this murkiness. All right, standing here as the king of swords, maybe they're trying to be more truthful, more honest, more legit in their own life, okay? Because that definitely was not going on before here. And I think it all has to do with them not wanting to end a cycle here. They feel like perhaps you've walked away, left them out in the cold in some way, and they don't really want to end this cycle. So they're trying to level up as well, okay? The issue is they're just not there yet, okay? This person does have a lot of love for you. It shows me that with the King of Cups, but I feel like they were not expressing it to you in the past. So what is this person's next move? Okay, I'm being, hang on one second, because I'm being told to give them, I need to get some messages here from this person. Give me one second. Let's see, what might this person want to say to my Cancer Collective? What might they want to say? I would love to know. I'm going to have to find out. That's going to drive me crazy. I mean, why has this person been through so much? What has drugged them down? And kept them kind of in this quagmire of dark energy where they felt like, I feel like this is literally the way I see this. Like you have been steadily moving forward. Uh, so I think you guys are definitely apart. I don't think you're in communication. And I feel like they have been just kind of wading through this. So I don't know if they didn't feel like they could heal. Maybe they had a lot of other responsibilities uh, that kept them from that. Um, or maybe they just liked that energy for a while and now they don't. They're freaking out a little bit is what I'm getting. They're freaking out because they see you standing so strong, okay? Standing in your power for sure. Um, yeah, they see. <laughs> this is crazy, honestly, because I think that this person really does envision a, a future with you. I think they're just kind of wondering if they can, you know, can I even make that happen at this point? I think some of you guys have moved or you're moving or something like that. I just have two cards here that show me that you're definitely in in a cycle and you may very well be moving away or maybe just moved your energy away. It does say I left when I saw you with someone interesting. So maybe some of you guys were dating other people um, or maybe they just thought they saw you. This could also be perception, mind you, okay? Um, on social media, something along those lines. They saw someone else talking to you, flirting with you, something like that. Maybe they couldn't handle that. It says, I hope that you can forgive me one day. So this is good. Maybe this person is really taking, um, maybe they really understand that it, it was their actions or perhaps something they said that, that kind of tore into the relationship or created this divide between the two of you. Let us hear it. Yeah, love it. Oh my God, I must, I got so emotional when that card flipped. I have no idea why. Okay, they said I'm becoming a better person. So maybe some of you will feel good to, to actually hear that. I don't know why my emotions kicked up when I said that. So, you know, maybe they're really trying here. You know, maybe it's been a lot harder for them. You could have already, it, it, I don't know if there's an age difference or maybe you just already had some kind of spiritual knowledge. Um... You know, our jobs have a lot to do with this, too, and I'm going to tell you why. I mean, I used to be in a job that was so busy, and I didn't really have a lot of time, and it always just some drama, drama, drama. I mean, the whole thing was just drama, right? And I was there for like eight and a half, almost nine years. 
And when you're in that, you don't feel like you have a lot of extra time to be doing self-healing, <laughs> self-work. Even though I did have the knowledge, which really pulled me through it, um, I still felt that way. So if this person has like a job where they're literally working all the time, where they have a lot of drama around them, it may have been more difficult for them. Whereas you may have been able to just divide yourself and really go with them and spend all of your excess time working on yourself. I'm not making excuses for them, but I'm telling you that's a real thing. It does say they're afraid to contact you. So again, I already felt like somebody felt left out in the cold here. You may have very well blocked this person or vice versa. Or maybe they're just afraid because it says, I hope you can forgive me one day. So maybe you caught them doing something or maybe you know that they were doing something. Or the bottom line is maybe some way that they acted with you. You didn't appreciate it. Look at that. You cannot make this up. Boy, spirit just comes through every time with these confirmations. It says, I lost myself for a little while. That's where they've been. All right. Definitely in a lot of shadow energy. Definitely in a lot of, uh, in a lot of darkness, I'm going to say. Did they deal with the wounds or did they just get through it? I'm not really sure. I can tell you that they're emerging much better than the way that they left. They're actually in a more... A stable energy now with this king of swords it looks like upright but most importantly they're more authentic okay maybe you didn't see a lot of authenticity in the past i think they were full of shit to be honest with you in the past they weren't being straight up with you for whatever reason but they have love for you okay it's unexpressed i feel there's a king of cups here uh in reverse but they do have love for you i would say this when a king of cups comes up though in reverse not only does this tell me this this is unexpressed this can also be somebody again that was pretty emotionally manipulative so i would just watch out and obviously assess things for yourself as always every situation will be different um you know, you may have to let this let this person prove it to you, but I do feel like they are looking for answers, okay? They may be looking for you, too. <laughs> so I don't know why I need to say that. I don't know if somebody left. They can't find you, okay? Um, they don't know where you went. Maybe you had, a, you know, a blackout in terms of you got off social media. You've really purged from a lot of things, and they just don't know how to connect with you. I think this person has tried to let you go. That may have even been... Uh, what they said in the past they may have told you we need to let each other go or something along those lines here yeah see they said it was my fault but I blamed you I said that earlier somebody might have been projecting their mess kind of on you treating you like you were kind of the issue all right let me get from this deck here all right spirit I want to know the outcome of this situation here for the next six weeks for my cancer sun moon rising and Venus signs please Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, what's the outcome here? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Wow, pretty pinnacles, beautiful. All right, what's the outcome here? What's the outcome here for my cancer? Somewhere. I think you're really heavily focused on your pentacles here. That's what I'm getting at. Somebody's coming in here. Mm -hmm. We got more Capricorn energy. We have more Leo energy as well. What else? Yeah, somebody's wanting to bring you an offer. Definitely an offer of stability. This is somebody that's been looking for you. That's what I just heard, literally. Somebody cannot either can't find you. You got them blocked off in a lot of ways. They're unable to see you. Um, when I see this in, in reverse as well, this sometimes shows me somebody who has been unwilling to really have a, an honest conversation with you in the past. This is somebody who you might have had a lot of joy with as well. Yeah. You have the two of pentacles. Somebody could have been juggling you in the past as well, but that's not what I'm getting with this, honestly. I feel like this is somebody who would like to, to see what you're doing, okay? But it has not been, and even if they haven't been watching you, I don't feel like they've been willing to, to break the ice. They haven't been willing to speak, text, uh, however they can actually communicate with you. This person is very stubborn, very big ego as well, but they've also been through a lot here. Whatever it is that's really driving them, I feel like to a, I just think they've been in a lot of sleepless nights, very restless kind of energy is what I'm getting from this. Um, 
Yeah, even anxious. This person may be very anxious. I don't know if they drink a lot of energy drinks, maybe Red Bulls or something like that. I feel very anxious suddenly. Let me get one more card here. She don't even know how this come up. Yeah, yeah. Anybody, somebody who was very discontent here, it looks like somebody's wanting to turn that around. Somebody has actually made a decision here is what I'm getting, okay? Um, person wants to bring you happiness. I think they want to have success with this. Obviously, they're, <laughs> I don't know how much better this can get in terms of how you're viewed. We have the loving woman up here. We have the empress here. We have the queen of pentacles here, okay? I feel like this person is wanting to come out of this stagnation period. This, you know, they feel very, you know, bored with the whole situation. Not bored is not even the right word. I want to say discontent with how things have really went down, and they're wanting to come out of that. Okay, they want to feel good again. Certainly, feel some kind of happiness again when it comes to you. They want to bring you something much more solid. Um, I think as well, be more nurturing with you, more loving, um, definitely more honest. It looks like than they were in the past. Bring you something more solid is what I keep getting now. I see, on your level, that's what I'm... So this person definitely, I don't know that they didn't feel... They must not have felt like they were on your level. Or did they even notice before, okay? Maybe they were so in and out of your life. Maybe they didn't notice. But they're noticing now because something has happened here. And they feel a real disconnect in your energy, which tells me that you have really pulled back on this person. Yeah, look at this, uh, Eight of Wands is coming out in reverse. So am I seeing movement? I think that the, this is all about what this person is envisioning, what they're wanting, bringing back the happy times, bringing a lot of the success, but being unwilling. Okay, this may just simply have to do with their pride, with their ego. Okay, really being unwilling to, to take the leap here, to make the first move, to actually reach out and have some kind of communication. I think it has to do with them being afraid to contact you for whatever reason. It could just be sheer... Um, embarrassment, honestly. It could be, you know, being afraid just due to how they acted before, the things that they did. And they know how intuitive you are, so they already know that you know what actually happened. Even if it wasn't spoken, they feel like you have actually figured that out in some way. All right. Yeah. They might also think that you're juggling as well, but they really do want to come out of this, this state of really being discontent with each other. But the issue is, honestly, Cancer, I just don't see them making a move at this point. Okay, this person has got a lot of shame and definitely a lot of guilt with the way things played out in this situation. I really do feel like that is what's holding them back at this time. Um, so uh, I guess you could try and take matters into your own hands or you can continue marching forward in this massive glow up that you've had here um, and looking for something that, that is more fulfilling if you're looking for a relationship. But honestly, I just feel like you're really, you're good. Okay, you just seem to me like you're quite comfortable. You're good where you're at. You know, if you wanna be with this person, if you feel like this can come back around at some point, then obviously you still move on with your life, right? Because we, we have to do that. Um, but you know, just, I don't know. I don't wanna tell you to wait on this situation. I feel like this person still has more to go through and they're definitely going to have to drop their, their ego. If you feel compelled, I'm just gonna say this, obviously maybe you wanna reach out to this person or give them some sign or something that lets them know that it's okay. But I'm going to tell you, I still don't feel like they're fully healed here. This person had a lot of scars that they came in with. Uh, I want to say a lot of darkness. Yeah, and I think they're still trying to really deal with that. The good news is I do feel that they're dealing with that, okay? I do feel like they're, they're legit trying to find answers at this point, okay? So I would say just give it space, give it time. You keep doing you because God knows it's working, whatever you're doing. This person is trying to build the courage to come towards you. So hopefully um, that will happen. All right. All right. Let's see if the love angels have any advice for you in this situation. Here, some of you guys actually have someone new coming in. I just got that very strongly. See heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. That definitely has got to be laid out there. Did this person not know that they loved you? Did they not want you to know? 
uh, that they loved you before. I feel like they helped. Look, this person was masked to the core, okay? Head to toe here. They definitely was not sharing a lot of who they are with you in the past. Look at this. Wow. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Beautiful. Sorry, my cod flew. Just to getting to know each other here. It says that you reveal, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Hmm. I just talked about this person being masked from head to toe. So that's what I'm saying. You didn't really even know the real person. You didn't, you didn't really get to the heart of who they are and possibly them with you. But look at this. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. I'm telling you, even if you do talk to this person, start a dialogue with this person, they're definitely not ready just yet. Uh, they're still dealing with some of this. They're still looking for their own answers. You know, people heal at their own speed. I'm definitely not trying to be demeaning. It's just that, you know, we all have our process to go through. Some of us elevate faster than others. It really just depends. It really just depends. I feel like this person is kind of a baby in their spiritual knowledge. I don't know why. They may be actually quite powerful in, in the spiritual world, <laughs> in the spiritual kingdom. But here they're learning to kind of, I don't know, to, to wade their way through and get back to that so that they can really recognize who they are. Look at this, Dad. You cannot make it out reconciliation. Once they do, that's what you're looking at. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So up to you guys, Capricorn. That's what I have for you guys today. Hopefully it will resonate with some of you. Um, and if it does, please don't forget to hit like. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, Capricorn.